In medieval times, we built walls to keep invaders out. The higher the walls, the thicker the walls, the safer we felt. We've been fighting against bacterial infection pretty much the same way, using old technology to keep bacterial invasion at bay. Disinfectants have been applied in hospitals with ever-increasing volumes, working on the medieval principle that the thicker the disinfecting wall, the healthier we would be. How wrong we were. I disinfettanti chimici garantiscono un'azione di eliminazione della carica batterica potenzialmente patogena, ma solo per poche decine di minuti. The disinfectant is proven in all the tests, it's simply not working, because 10 minutes until 20 minutes after using it, the bad bugs are back. Just as modern warfare is not about the number of weapons an army has, but rather it's about the effectiveness of the weapons and the intelligence with which these weapons are used. It's about prevention being better than cure. It's about stopping the problem at the source, surrounding the threat in a way which prevents it from growing. They are still in the old mind of we have to kill everything, we just have to destroy what attacks us, which is wrong, we have to work with nature. Western intelligence agencies rarely kill threats in Western cities. They do enough simply to neutralize them. This is exactly the future of modern healthcare. Over the past 25 years, Crizal has specialized in innovative cleaning and care products to achieve optimal and sustainable health and hygiene. The problem actually all over the world is the same. We have a problem with resistance, with bad bacterials, with pathogens, and the problem can be solved with nature. What we basically do is we just replace common chemical detergents with the probiotic cleaning agents. So it's very important to realize that they are daily cleaning products. We install the safe microbes on the surfaces in the entire hospital and that lowers the risk of infectious organisms. Sono microrganismi viventi, quindi continuano eh, a risiedere sulle superfici sanificate. Questa azione di limitazione, di compressione della carica batterica potenzialmente patogena è continua nell'arco delle 24 ore. For Cruzal, the biggest priority is, is the constant innovation. We have become really an R&D and production company. Now the core business is of course the probiotics and our first priority is to start developing products based on this probiotic technology that can be used as widespread as possible in any kind of industry, at people's homes, workplaces. We made a range very wide. We have now consumer products and everything. I think this is a great future and we have a lot of proofs now that it works. Crizal has become a market leader in probiotic hygiene for both professional and private customers. But its recent studies, such as that carried out by the University of Ferrara at Italy's St. Anne Hospital, which really prove that a new generation of healthcare is emerging. Because it's a controversial new technology, we have been performing a lot of research, most of it being done by independent academic institutions, like for instance uh, University of Ferrara in Italy. And they have been validating the probiotic cleaning product technology. It's been a great opportunity to participate in this group of research. I risultati rispetto a quanto pianificato sono stati superiori eh, rispetto a quelli che ehm, ci eravamo immaginati di ottenere. Le nostre esperienze condotte quindi in campo ci hanno in campo reale hanno dimostrato invece che l'utilizzo dei prodotti probiotici della crisi, quindi di fatto a base di microrganismi viventi, determina una forte compressione della carica batterica. The Ferrara Hospital was convinced by means of our Italian uh, commercial partner, who is a big cleaning company in north of Italy. They were very convinced about the probiotic cleaning technology, but needed their own local proof. Abbiamo costruito immediatamente una ricerca con l'Università di Ferrara insieme all'azienda ospedaliera di Ferrara, testandone l'efficacia e l'efficienza, eh, ottenendo grandissimi risultati. Saremmo stati contenti di avere una riduzione del 20% delle complicanze infettive, come da indicatore introdotto dal nostro piano sanitario nazionale. In realtà quello che noi abbiamo osservato è una riduzione tendenziale del 69% delle complicanze infettive correlate all'assistenza sanitaria. E abbiamo ottenuto una riduzione della carica batterica potenzialmente patogena di circa l'80, 85, 90% rispetto al caso dell'utilizzo dei prodotti chimici tradizionali. Oltre a questo abbiamo osservato una riduzione della gravità e quindi abbiamo avuto una riduzione dell'utilizzo degli antibiotici ad alto costo. With the use of probiotic cleaning products we will lower both the use of antibiotics and disinfectants which is a serious cost reduction of course. Noi abbiamo avuto una riduzione eh, dei costi 
che, eh, di, di 500 mila euro. Questo è su un piccolo eh, sistema di cura, applicando questa metodologia a livello sistematico in tutta la nostra struttura, l'impatto sarebbe molto più elevato. Certainly in times of crisis that we have now already for a couple of years, eh, when every euro counts, and I think that the financials uh, are very important, and certainly with healthcare, we are talking about budgets that, uh, that are really billions of euros, and there we can do a big saving. È stato veramente di forte impatto per la nostra organizzazione e anche per altre, altri ospedali. Dopo aver dimostrato l'efficacia e la sicurezza del prodotto probiotico abbiamo cambiato, introdotto l'utilizzo, cambiato il sistema di pulizia all'interno della nostra azienda introducendolo in tutte, in tutte le aree assistenziali, tecniche e amministrative, quindi all'interno di tutta l'azienda. A lot of hospitals and also university hospitals are not waiting anymore, they just start changing to the probiotic clinic technology because they see they're not the first anymore now to, to start with that. They see their colleagues achieving very good results in terms of uh, infection and that's uh, good enough for them to start with the probiotic cleaning. What are the wider implications for the healthcare community? Quello di poter contribuire con questo nostro sistema ad introdurre una quella che è stata definita una rivoluzione, maggiore igiene, riduzione dei costi, maggiore sicurezza e riduzione dell'impatto ambientale. The impact is enormous, eh? so the probiotic technology can be used anywhere, both in, in, in industries um, or at home, people's homes and, and workplaces. But we first need to change the mind of the professionals, like infection control. People, once they are convinced by means of our studies, then we can start spreading uh, the probiotic clinic technology through other industries and, and, and at consumers' uh, homes. And that's also the reason we're also selling consumer products, because we say, let's start there, and that's a big voice. And all the consumers, they are actually the ones who are electing the politicians, and they will say, why are you not using probiotics in your hospital? I use it at my home and I see that it works. Certainly in healthcare, the problems with resistant infectious organisms is the same in all healthcare facilities. And we have also seen in our studies that we can actually solve the problem with these uh, infectious organisms anywhere that, where we do trials. So certainly uh, within Europe, where you have pretty similar healthcare management, um, it would be a very big advantage if we could have this probiotic clinic technology implemented throughout Europe. Here in the European Parliament, Europe's health budgets are not being shaped by investment in yesterday's good ideas, but healthcare is being shaped by innovation. I think that the European Commission should look at us and uh, please check us out. It works. Changing from killing all microorganisms to really implementing microorganisms into healthcare facilities is a big change of mind and we see that more and more infection control people start to realize that disinfectants, antibiotics are really at the end of their powers and that because of the resistance we do need sustainable alternatives. I am convinced that probiotic cleaning should be the priority uh, when it comes to hospital hygiene.